going on YouTube? Today we're going to be bringing you something a little different. How many of you guys have had to wait in line at the skate shop to get grip tape put on your board just because you're too scared to do it? It's really not that hard. Kids, get adult supervision before you use this one, but you're going to need a razor blade, a small screwdriver to punch the holes with, and a larger screwdriver or the end of a crescent wrench or socket wrench, something hard to scrape the line on the edge so that you can scrape off the roughness, get to the paper, and cut with ease. So first steps, find a place that you're comfortable. Some people like to do it on their lap, just sitting down. Some people like to do it on their kitchen table. I do it on my deep freeze. I know that's the nose, I know that's the tail, but I skate mine backwards. So, I'm gonna do mine like that. Why do I do it that way, you see? I don't know, it's just more comfortable. I feel like I get more pop. I always check your sheet just to kind of see how much, what you got to work with. I got about half a fingertip underneath. Pull your grip tape, but be careful not to let it stick to anything that is really sticky. And I keep this piece handy. I grab my fingertips and put it on the end. Use your middle finger to find the tips of the board. Make sure you're straight over it where you want it. Set it down soft and feel your fingers, make sure you're good. And then work from the middle out. Yeah, I know I usually use Mob, but he was out. And well, I just really wanted to see this art. He's got mob coming though, and we're working on a special one for the modern skater for you guys. That was really cool. Make sure you work from the middle out and get all them air bubbles out. You get an air bubble it's okay just kind of pull up just a little bit not a lot just work it out voila good to go all right once you get to that step then you're going to mark your edges Grab your razor blade, kind of start in the pocket. Have adult supervision. If you're not comfortable with this or if you're a kid, don't play with stuff that's sharp. <clears throat> and then try to do it in one smooth motion. You don't want a bunch of hacks at it. <clears throat> I like to keep a piece of this to smooth out any weird edges. There's not really any choppy spots other than like where I started right there. But I'll take my razor blade and go ahead and smooth that out. And take this piece that you saved. I probably do this a little too much, but I like mine real smooth. That way it doesn't start peeling off. But I just like the way a crisp deck looks. It's all about confidence. If you look down and you're confident, your shoes are good, you feel good. You gonna learn that trick. You're already in your head. It's as good as going. Voila. Once you get that done, take your little screwdriver, find your holes. I stick it through by about that much, maybe a quarter inch. 
Just enough so you can see it and then push it through from the other side. Now I'm not going to set it up yet, but I am about to swap it. I don't like personally skating the board past that third ply right there. Because when I nollie, my timing is off. Sometimes I'm so late, man, the board goes like that. Even though I have four kids, I'm really not trying to risk losing anything. So I'm going to finish the no slide series. And uh, yeah, and then we'll pop that new bad boy on.